Hey everybody, welcome to Formula Essentials. My name is Maria Marquis, and in this video, we're going to talk about contains, which is a formula piece that usually plays well with others, like if and filter, but you're gonna find yourself using it a lot. So I want you to think about all of the information that you have. Maybe we've got a whole list of product launches, and each of those launches probably have multiple criteria. Sometimes they're talking about new features, sometimes they're featuring a customer, sometimes they're doing both of those things. But we still want to be able to understand anytime something also talks about a new feature launch. So contains allow you to cut through all of the lists of information to still find what meets your needs. This is also great if you're dealing with a bunch of candidates, which a bunch of skill sets, to be able to really understand, well, how many of them also know how to use Coda? So let's take a look at an example where we're trying to sort through our blog posts to better understand which types of blog posts are going out into the world. So here we are inside of our blog post table. We've got a couple different columns going on here. We've got this category column, but we also have this type column. So notice in the category column, there's one thing that's chosen. But over here in the type column, we could have multiple options be selected because we went into its menu right up here. And under lookup options, we just toggled the ability to have multiple selections on. This is why contains is important. It's not just a one-to-one, -one, it's a one-to-many options. So let's take a look at how this would look in real time. So if I wanna know how many of these blog posts have type A, I would say equals blog post. In this case, we're gonna use contains along with filter since we're interested in a slice of our information. And we're gonna say the type contains type A. And then we could count it. What this allows us to do is it allows us to sort through and find every moment where type A is mentioned, either by itself or in the midst of a group of other details. So we get all of the actual information that's going on here. Now, what I like about this is that if you were to think about equals, that would be really limited. It would only show me the options where only type A is there. Same thing if I were to use something like matches. So contains allows you to future-proof your docs by allowing you to say, anytime that's mentioned anywhere, I'm able to get the results from it. So for example, if all of a sudden this category column became a multiple select by just toggling it on here, if I had had contains in any of my formulas and I all of a sudden added Maria's column, Al's column would still show up in my Al's column queries. So contains is your way to get to exactly what you need, even if you got a pile of information that you're working with. So now it's your turn. Take a look at your docs, start figuring out your contains opportunities, and I'll see you next time.